Hey everyone, Jamie here. Welcome to my five year anniversary special. I've decided I am uh, going to do a special video because I've recently celebrated five years on YouTube. So, yeah, and I, while I was pulling out my DVDs, I showed these yesterday, but um, while I was getting the DVDs out of the attic, uh, I found, um, well, I wasn't getting them out. Someone else got them out for me because I refused to go up there with the, with the spiders that are crawling about up there. Lord knows what could be crawling on my leg when I come back out. Anyway, um, yeah. We got Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, um, which is, I think, a little 90s cartoon. Comes with some stickers as well, which is pretty cool. But it's only like four episodes, um, but it should be fun. Uh, McBusted Live at the O2 on Tour Play. It's a, it's a concert, and it's also a movie, by the way. I've got Tour Play on Blu-ray down here as well. Just for the record. Um, yeah, there's a DVD. And... Uh, there's the Blu-ray. This is the most excellent Adventure Tour uh, concert, by the way. Uh, this is on blu I'm not sure if this was on DVD. It must have been, surely. But yeah, um, this is the live deluxe edition, and that's both McBusted concerts. And the one I'm probably looking forward to the most, the watching the most, this is going to be really good. The Definitive Story of Titanic. This is going to be really interesting to watch. It's uh, four episodes. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that should be good. Anyway... Today we're going to be watching uh, three videos in their entirety. Uh, my controller collection here, my first ever pickup video, and another video called This Was An Absolute Failure, which was me playing F1 2001 on the PlayStation 2. So yeah, we're just going to watch these videos in their entirety. This might be a little bit long, but you know what, I don't care. This is a, a special video, so we're going to have some fun. Let's go. My controller collection. Which has got so since kind of a bigger. We're off the cortex for the intro. It's my old PS1 collection video, I think. Stay clear, not the cortex. Why is the video frozen? Yeah, YouTube on my tablet does that sometimes. This goal on FIFA 98, look at that. One of my favourites. Sonic Generations, my favourite Sonic game of all time. What's up guys, it's the Glen Gorman Gamer here. Welcome back to another video. And it's Friday, which means vlog day. Now, uh, this Yeah, if you're wondering, I used to have some old... Video. If you're wondering, I used to have some old schedule where I would make a... Gameplay commentary video on... Uh, if you just saw that flap up, I apologise. Um, If you just saw this thing here, the cover of my tablet case fly up, I apologise, my hand hit it. Anyway... I, I used to have a schedule which I would do a gameplay commentary video on Monday, a Let's Play episode on a Wednesday, and a vlog on a Friday. I failed miserably at sticking to it, so eventually I just binned it, and I do have a better schedule now, which I can actually stick to. I usually just pick a, I just pick a game to play, and I do three episodes over the week. So, yeah, easy enough. And maybe a random video on a Sunday if I'm in the mood. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, back into it. Uh, I'm going to be showing off my collection of controllers. That I have uh, from PS1, PS2, GameCube, PS3, and Xbox 360. I do have Wii ones, but they're in the living room. I think that's my dad's hoodie. I can't even mind. So, so is that a tea towel sitting on the table or something? Too, think, Why didn't they just move ones, stuff so... before recording this? Yeah, let's get started. Right. Starting off, the year is 1995, and the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo are taking over the world of gaming. Then, Sony came along with the PlayStation, and this, this thing, Very informative. this PlayStation and cringeworthy, I'm guessing. practically changed the world of gaming. This should be fun. Like Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, uh, Final Fantasy as well. It's a, I think that controller, I don't think it even works anymore. Today, I think the, you know, the X button doesn't work on it, so, yeah. A lot. It looks pretty naked, like, compared to the old, shame, I, no analog, I like no using wires, that controller. No they all shot, rumble, all nothing, just a D-pad, some buttons, yeah, just a D-pad and a couple of buttons, that's it. Um, uh, there's the plug, there, yeah. Yeah, still a pretty good controller to use, I don't really use it that much, but still a fun controller, good to use. Then 1998 came along, and we got... DualShock Analog. Yeah. This is I use that controller a lot, actually. Um, it's a really fun controller. Yeah, it says, 
PS1 yeah, it came with the, the PS1. Slim, it was literally like was when the PS1 slim. got a, a slim version of 2000, it was literally yeah, called like the PS1. Oops. Yeah, this is um, uh, it's a lot lighter than the original PS1 controller. This one here, I'm gonna that's my other. I jet, I for years thought that was a PS2 controller. It's a PS1 controller. You can tell by the shape of the plug, it's a little bit bigger than the PS2 controller plug. Yeah, it's a PS1 controller. I think the square button on that controller is broken now. Yeah, it doesn't I even work anymore. I thought this was a PS2 controller. Because, like, genuinely, I thought this was a PS2 controller. Yeah, it's a PS1 controller, actually. Yeah. I've had so that yeah, controller that. since I got my original PS2 uh, in 2006. I've had that thing for 15 years and it still works. Which I sort of need to pick up Ape Escape, which use the Yeah, I, I need to get that game to only be playable with these analog sticks so yeah oh. yeah then the year 2000 came along i think i hit something the playstation 2 and we got the dualshock 2 which is you can see here practically the same controller dualshock 2 literally the same controller yeah and if i get this over you know you can see they're pretty much the same thing apart from this has analog buttons this one has analog buttons. No, yeah, no. This one doesn't have analog buttons. This one does. I'm there you go. Got there eventually. Get your analog history right, you idiot. Quite well. <laughs> um, yeah. It's got a smaller plug on this one compared to this one where it was... Um, Why is there white tape on it? Who put that there? Slightly bigger. Yeah. And on this one, here, the, it's, a, it's a little like circle thing. Yeah, on this one. But yeah. Uh, very fun. One of my all-time favorite controllers, if I'm honest. Probably, probably my all-time favorite controller. Favorite controller ever. Second would be the 360, and third would probably be the PS4 controller. Yeah, you know, it's just pressing the hand really well, playable. Yeah, it's just all in front PS3 controller. controller was just that, but without a I wire. Must say about it. it was literally um, not much different apart from the fact it was wireless. Here, a GameCube controller. I think that's a third-party uh, GameCube yeah, controller. controller this. Uh, not my favorite controller ever, but. Uh, I do like it, and the, the D-pad feels a little clunky on this though. Yeah, it is. Like when I play this, the D-pad is it, not D -pad is clunky. stiff and clunky. I don't know why it just does. That there, that analog stick kind of reminds me of the Dreamcast analog stick a little bit. Um, this isn't a, this this isn't an official GameCube GameCube controller by the way. It's just a knockoff one because it doesn't say Nintendo on this anywhere, does it? No, I, don't think I think that's like a third party one, but it look, yeah, uh, well, looks real enough and it's comfortable. Like, I wonder like, did the GameCube Game number you thing. I uh, wonder did the GameCube logo like, one uh, a lot of similarities wipe off or something. GameCube and the Xbox controller. Like, just, like thumbsticks, the D pad. Button placement is kind of odd. This really threw me off when I used this. When I first used this yeah. It is really an odd button placement, but, but it's actually really comfortable. But yeah, it's still an all around pretty solid controller. It is weird though. Yeah, it'd give it, yeah I like it. What's next? The 360? Right then. Xbox 360. These noises are knocking everything over. One. Control yourself, that one man. Work, by the way. One, two, that one doesn't work either. Both of those black ones don't work anymore. Three. That white yeah, one still works though. And I've got a Mad Cat wired one now. Of all time behind, uh, the Dual Shock 2. Still. Um, still my two favourite yeah, controllers ever. Um, I've got three battery packs. Um, a broken one there. And there's two other ones here. Anyway, that, this one here, that thing is actually coming out a little bit, if you can see that. But it still works fine. Yeah, I this break one, everything. Disconnects a lot, which is why I don't use it. But, you know... Better than nothing. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a great controller. I like, love breaking everything, don't they? Did you hear the way that landed? Did I just chuck that across the room? You can see the couple of similarities. Take like, care of your things, man. This is why you break like, everything. There is a good few similarities between these two controllers. Like, seriously. Like... Yeah, this, yeah, like, the thumbsticks are in the same place. They are very uh, similar controllers, I'll give you that. Yeah, just similarities, but yeah, great controller. I think I prefer the black one, but, yeah, this one, I think... The I, analog I, sticks on that I one are done. That, I do need to get these thumbsticks covered up, though, because... 
Yeah, five years later, and I still need to get that done. Like, if anyone knows if Xbox that, One really thumbstick grips fit on 360 One, can you let me know? No, like, if anyone knows if Xbox One thumbsticks can fit on the Xbox 360 controller thumbstick, can you let me know? Yeah. I do think a black controller looks a lot nicer though. Pretty much. Okay, is it going to focus? Well, focus. Yeah, there we go. How long are we into the video? Oh, we're nearly done. Okay. All right. Now moving on to the PS3, um, I have this uh, knockoff controller, it's a quick act controller. I think I still have that somewhere, I don't know that or That um, analog stick was here. done on it. Uh, got a couple of DualShock 3s there, I'll get that open in a minute. Remember that what quick act one was comfortable just because uh, it had like longer arms, yeah, this although one, the analog stick. I've used this for a couple of years, this analog stick annoyed me because it's, it's, it's come loose. I do remember liking that yeah, D-pad though, it was quite comfortable. It was like a Sega Mega Drive D-pad, or Genesis uh, for you Americans. Yeah, these third party controllers, the paint wears off them really quickly, doesn't it? There, and it's got a power switch. I do remember that controller um, was really comfortable yeah, to hold though. It runs on batteries, which annoys me, like, but, you know, again, it's better than nothing. Um, yeah, the D-pad... Yeah. Kind of annoys me. This is not my favorite controller I've used by. Oh, I didn't means. like it. But yeah, right it's still a decent controller, like, but not my favorite. Hey, you have to switch it on though. DualShock Three, however, is pretty much the same thing as the DualShock Two. Only they've added a Bluetooth yeah. connection. It's wireless, and there's a home button menu now. Yeah, but yeah, pretty much the same thing as the DualShock Two. Yeah, you they're know, practically um, the same, apart from a few minor changes. Yeah, just great controller. and a few updates. Apart yeah, from that, they're pretty much the same. Although this one, the D-pad, when, when you're using it, does tend to go a little haywire when you're playing the game. Like, if you're playing a wrestling game with this controller, like, I'm playing the game when all of a sudden my wrestler starts taunting. And because of that, I've, I've actually had to turn this one off and switch over to this one. Because... Why don't you just stick with that controller oh, then? Instead of using the red one, which you know it doesn't work. Fine. The other one does, though, listen. I think, I can, I think that red one's yeah, okay when I'm playing FIFA, that, though. But, yeah. Um... But yeah, it's still a good controller. I've got like, it's got like, um, like four charging cables. <laughs> um, and and yeah, I think I've got rid of three of them because it didn't work. I've only got one charging cable now. Entire collection of controllers. So, uh, that's that. Yeah, so, for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a big we're going to watch my first ever pickup video now. I'm going to get rid of these notifications. Retro Sports Gamer. Right. Let's go to the intro. I still have that Rangers top, by the way. Video, but it's not Love that away, kid. It's my first pickup video. At long last. Well, it's more of a... Yeah, it's pickups, but it's more of a CEX haul, because I've got everything from CEX and Abbey Center. I still get mostly everything from I've CEX got a nowadays. Stuff here. Um, I've got a, a GameCube game, an Xbox game, an Xbox 360 game, a PS3 game, and six PS2 games, all for £30. Yes. Why did I need to sit forward to say that? Like, why did I need to sit forward in order to say that? What's the point in that? It's not necessary. Thankfully, they all do work, which I'm glad about because, um, yeah, I remember buying Zone of the Enders for the PS2, really looking forward to playing it. Got home, wouldn't work. Like, I tried to have I cleaned the disc. Uh, yeah, I, I tried to play Zone of the Enders, but I got work, stuck yeah. and I haven't gone back to it since. Anyway, uh, PS3 game I got. Uncharted yeah. 1. Uncharted. Great game. Friggin' hard though that I game is. Only the only I, got this is cause it's I like, actually beat that, but it was well, friggin' hard. I'm a big Tomb Raider fan, so I might like this. And, uh, you know, well, it has to be in your PS3 collection. Like, if you don't have this in your PS3 Yeah, if you don't have Uncharted in your PS3 you collection, what's wrong with you? I don't have the other two, but I want to get my hands on them at some point. I haven't played it yet, but I've seen a review on it, and it looks quite good, so, yeah. I've heard nothing probably about it. Probably my right. least favourite Uncharted game, I'd go one, the game key game. three, four, and uh, then two. Which I've, play, which I've played for, what, 15 minutes to see if it works, so it's fine. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah, this is probably yeah. 
This is actually the only version of Sonic Adventure 2. I need a GameCube memory card, because I can't play that without a GameCube memory card, for some reason. The Wii is compatible with GameCube games, so I thought, why not? Buy it, give it a bash. And yeah, uh, came complete as well. But like, this manual, like, they don't make manuals that size anymore. <laughs> Bring back manuals, really seriously. Yeah. Why did they get rid of manuals? What was the point? Yeah. sticker like inside like on the cover which kind of annoyed me but thankfully i got it off without damaging it i mean yeah uh but yeah this is the first game that shadow appeared in um i can't see it because yeah i think it I was just shadow's first game because it wasn't in any of the 3d and games i didn't have a gamecube memory card so <laughs> yeah i'll have to get one next time i go to ces but yeah it's good to have i guess i mean if you haven't played sonic adventure 2 what is wrong with you uh, I haven't played it. I don't, th I don't have that bottle anymore. Love a bit of water, mate. Uh, right, I'll do the PS2 games last. Um, what else you got? Yeah, I'll get the um, original Xbox game out of the way. And again, I don't also, even get a haircut. Anything. Yeah. Oh, Halo, Halo 2. 2. Uh, I swear I got that like yeah. maybe two years ago. I really liked Halo 3. Uh, and I've got Halo Reach as well, but I thought I'd get this because... The Xbox 360, for some reason, is only compatible with certain Xbox games. Yeah, I think FIFA 2004 um, worked, or Champions League yeah, 2004 or 5, which was basically just FIFA well. 2005 with, yeah. a, with a different skin, for some reason yeah, doesn't work. I, haven't played it yet. I, I mean, I I've, I've, I've got it on PS2 now, so can't really complain. It seemed alright, I loaded it up alright, so, yeah. And then, uh, the Xbox 360 game I got didn't come with a manual or anything, but... Yeah. I just had to get this. Skyrim. 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 I just had to get this. A friend of mine loves this game. Still uh, have no idea how to play so, it. So, yeah, I thought I'd get it, give it a bash. I'm not really into RPGs, but... I'm know, still not really into RPGs, and I don't have a clue how to play that, seriously. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure yeah. it out eventually once Good. I probably go back and play it again. It. I do like that cover. It's like 100 hours, though. Yeah, I would yeah, not yeah, have the attention span to finish that. I've got the attention span uh, yeah. of a, a moldy sandwich. Okay, like then, None whatsoever. The six PS3 games. Yeah. PS2 games, PS2. you mean? Six PS2 games. Can't uh, even talk. Yeah, I bought Great. six PS2 games. Oops. Yeah, I, I always have to go mad whenever PS2 I go to CEA because I don't know why. The 101. I now have officially 101 PlayStation 2 games. It's yeah, now over 150. 100 PS2 games. So yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of great ones here, as you can see. Uh, there's six. I'm just going to show you them away. First one, Crash Twin Sanity. Uh, yeah, Fun game, that is. Again, Are we like, halfway through here? Minutes. Yeah, we're halfway through. Yeah, it seems good. It seems, it, it seems really good. Although, Cortex dressed as his sister was just... No. And yeah, that was weird. Made by Sierra, Crash Twin Sanity is one of the home, weirdest so. games ever. It's yeah, I love that cover. It's that a fun game, really but funny. good grief, it's weird sometimes. Um, and yeah, sometimes it's like it's weird, annoying, weird, it's if you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't give a crap. I've got the game anyway, so yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, the next game, I I saw Chris Mata Games play this game like a few years ago, and I thought it's a shooter. It was on the PS One. I, I saw this and I thought. Oh, hello, I want a piece of this. Um, yeah, and it is... What is it? Quake 3. Oh, Quake 3. Revolution. Yeah, yeah, that game's alright. Yeah, it, it seems really good. I, I I like this game so far. Although, the campaign it's, starts off with a couple it is of like, fun. training missions, like, you know, just shoot people and... Yeah, but the, hold the flag for one minute. I don't know, for some reason I just can't get past that. I don't know why. I mean, it's an EA game, so, yeah. I do remember it being yeah. really annoying not to try to five, shoot your opponent. Like, the camera would not stay still. It's actually kind of annoying. Yeah, I got 5 out of 5, so... Yeah. There is a bit of red writing on the back there, which... It's kind of irritating, but... Eh, you know, I've got the game anyway. It's, it seems really good as well. The only problem is... Uh, yeah. Yeah, blue discs. Blue discs. I, I used to hit... Yeah, um... I don't know why I hate a blue disc so much. I really don't know why. 
Xbox, like, why did I hate blue discs? I've already completed on the PS3. Um, Tomb Raider Legend? Yeah, on the HD Trilogy. Yeah, yeah Tomb Raider I've Legend. I've already given it away, haven't I? Tomb Raider Legend. Yep. Uh, yeah, I've I last played it twice now. I've got the PS2 version, because, you know, back up. I've got a... I've got, the and the first time the I played it on PS, uh, I played it on PS3. I first time I played it on PS2 was actually my awful Tomb Raider Let's Plays I did in 2017 and 2018. Um, don't know if we're for this or anniversary, but I'll have to give this a bash on the PS2 and see if it's. What do you mean give it a bash? Um, it's the same game as the PS3 version with PS2 different games, graphics. Whether that's an our anniversary. Um, I liked Underworld, but the fact that Underworld didn't have any bosses was um, did. Did irritate me a little bit. Right, we've got three games left here, and we're seven minutes already. Uh, Ooh, seven minutes. Right. Three more EA games. Yay! What is it? Just all yeah. FIFA games? Game or Harry Potter? Games play. Need for Speed Carbon. Oh, Need for Speed Carbon. I played this last night to get to the controls, and I was absolutely horrible at it, but I was liking it. That is a fun game. Uh, but yeah. I've played much Need for Speed, but they I are fun from what I've played. I They're really good. And I wouldn't load. So, hopefully I can get this working again, but, uh, I do like it. It does look like a pretty good game, so, yeah. I've got Need for Speed, what is it, Hot Pursuit? Okay, is it Hot Pursuit in the PS3? I had that and, game, uh, it doesn't Pro work, Street, I just binned it, so, which I couldn't really get yeah. Into. Uh, I think it's just a remake of a PS2 story. one anyway, so. Doesn't really work. Right. I think the other one was Chamber Next of Secrets. One, I also got in CEX. Um, well, every single one of these games is from CEX. Yeah. What's this uh, one? It is Burnout Dominator. Oh, Burnout Dominator. Yeah. I just had to get a Burnout game because a lot of people yeah. love these games. And I, just, I mean, it's Burnout. I, 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 had to try I still need to get Burnout Revenge from Burnout really Takedown. Good. I think Revenge is on the 360, though. It's in 8K, so I might get that version and then just get Burnout Revenge Takedown on the PS2. Uh, Burnout Legend as well. There's a couple on PSP as well, I think. I see them, but this is the only one I saw, so... Finally, this is one that I'm actually playing right now, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's Chamber of Secrets. Right I can tell. Yeah. Probably give it away, haven't I? Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, yeah, um, are we done here? I've heard a lot, again, I've heard a lot you know, of things about There's a game. minute left. I'm just going to ramble uh, about the game for... Yeah. yeah it's a anyway, uh, on to the last video. Find it. Here it is. Me being terrible at F1 2001 on PS2. It's What's called... Up, Jamie here. Welcome to well, this was an absolute failure. I have played this game before since since this yeah, video, though, and I'm not very good at it, but it is pretty fun. I've been watching some of the races this year, and they've been really good. Although Max Verstappen needs to really calm himself down a bit. It's um. Yeah, I love the sound of those intros. My mum hates them. Hates the sound of it. I've also got I've also got F1 2001. Uh, 2000. F1 2010 on the PS3, and from what I've played of it, it's... I mean, it's Alright. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <clears throat> F1 is great. I've watched some of the races this year, they've been really good. The Silverstone this year, the British Grand Prix was mad. Absolutely mad race that was. Music's a bit weird though. Music in this game is a little weird. More bloody notifications. Leave me alone! I think I chose Michael options. Schumacher. Options. Yeah, whatever. Hurry up. Get to the game already. Nobody cares about the, the options. This, this is an old roster. David Coulthard, uh, Schumacher, Ralph Schumacher, that's his brother by the way if you're wondering, and his yeah. son Mike Schumacher I think, yeah, or is it Nick is Schumacher, is now racing in F1, so, Villeneuve, uh, is that Max Trilly. Verstappen's dad, didn't know there was another Verstappen in F1, Reikonen, I, I've heard of him, Irvine, Reikonen, is that Eddie yeah, Irvine? Looks Irish, yeah. Uh, I think he's from here, from Northern Ireland. Marquez. 
Pepe, if I'm not mistaken. Alonso. Fernando Pepe. Alonso. Is that it? I remember I was absolutely awful at this. This race so, okay, go did Schumacher. not go well. Like, why are all the tracks locked? This What's the point of that? Because, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can change the difficulty. You probably can. Loading screens back then were chaotic. Now did you barely get any loading screens at all. Just saying. Whoa, 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 that is loud. Okay, I, okay. Wow, this is hard to control. Can you change the camera? What? Oh, okay, the replay. I, I remember I had no idea how to get out of this replay, by the way. Okay, hang on. Can I change the camera? Display. I think R1 changes the camera, but obviously I didn't know that at this time. Because this video was called, well, well this is an absolute failure. So, you yeah, assume it probably didn't go well. I haven't seen this video since then. Whoa! Okay, this is hard to control. I okay, yeah. You're here. supposed to break a corner as you climb. I can't play this. So You've been playing for 30 seconds. What do you mean you can't play it? It's been 30 seconds. Is, is Good is grief. It, is it, is it, is it, seriously. It, End of the replay again. Right, this is pretty terrible so far. Is <laughs> this is actually really machines? funny. I'm mashing every button on the controller. I can't get rid of the this? replay. <laughs> I can't get out of the replay. Let me out of it. How do you get out of this? I'm look. I am mashing every button on this controller. How do you get out of this? Get out of the replay, you idiot! How? Is it? What did it I press? Just, it just let me out of it. Okay. Yeah, this camera is really disorienting. I think I picked Silverstone as well. One of the hard, one of the harder tracks. I was expecting this to be a fun game, but I cannot play. Expecting this. it to be, you've been playing for like what, one minute? You can't criticize the game when you've just started playing it. Break at the corners, yeah, you I'm idiot! Not, okay, seriously, how do you turn? How do you get? How do you turn without going flying over something? It's called the break button, you moron. Jeez, I was stupid. Yeah, I was stupid play playing this. I'm still not very good at it. I'm still terrible at it. I've heard the PS1 games are fun though. The F1 games on the PS1 mate. F1 97. Okay, I, I'm criticizing. I'm criticizing the game when I've literally just started playing it. Have some patience. Press the brake button. Press the brake oh, button, you idiot. Oh, nice. What is wrong with me? And I, I've masked the entire controller. It is not possible to change. Press the R1 button. It is not possible to change the camera. And yeah, I'm uh, way in the last. I clearly am not enjoying this, so. One lap and you're stop criticizing and start uh, I playing. Just put the title of this video as failing miserably at F1 on PS2. Yeah, I just how far in are we? Miserably on F1. It's, this is ridiculous. Tag. Uh, hang on, I need to look up the controls here. All right. So R1 apparently changes the camera angle. Ah, oh, that's better. Why didn't I didn't just look at the controls before playing the game. Then I would have known what to do. Man, I was stupid. I'm gonna go with this one, seeing as I can actually see and seeing as I can actually see the car and it might actually help a little. Yeah, I did not know you could do this. And good grief, this turning is so bad. Can I use the D-pad? Yeah, I can. Doesn't, it doesn't make a difference, but yeah, this is far from the best race that I've played so far. I mean, that, and I know that's a bit. Stupid to say that you've that been playing for five one minutes, lap and uh, you've been playing for yeah, one and a half laps and you're already saying it's a terrible game. I will finish this Learn to play it before you criticize it. I am last place. Good grief. Okay, 
I was a good grief, I'm impatient. I can't do anything here. Okay. Oh, what? I need to. I need to stop I saying this, but lock. have you ever heard of the break button? Like Michael Schumacher used to be one of the best. Basically. Try pressing the break button. Maybe that'll help. I think in the middle of a race. And Man, I was bad at this. Is, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't do this. This is this is one of the worst. This is one of the worst playing gameplays I've ever done. Seriously, I mean. I, know you guys will I actually that, thought I was about to say this is one of the worst games I've ever played. I genuinely thought I was going to say this is one of the worst games I've ever played. Thank yeah, God I didn't. I'll probably have to give the game another chance, but... Yeah, um... Anyway, uh, guys, I'm... kind of a failure, so... That's been me reacting to old videos. I'm going to go and uh, watch all of these and probably watch some of the football. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, congratulations to me on five years on YouTube. With, uh, uh, on the anniversary was Thursday by the way thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time